Mother Church celebrates or reminds us to celebrate the memorial of Saint Leo the Great, Doctor and Pope. We continue praying through him that we may we may also become great in our own way, following Christ with all our heart. In a special way still, we continue praying for the faithful departed that they may rest in peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Lord Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have created this sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most precious fault. Therefore, I ask the Savior to get away all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me in the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, Grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the Holy Ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child, Onesism, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I, was, I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel, but I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So, if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would be with me. And if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self? Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Response to your son. Blessed is, is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord 
raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. But as is his name, he is the God of Jacob. The faithful, the fatherless, and the widow he sustains. But the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Hallelujah. 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 I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look here it is, order there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is. Or, Look, here he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as light, lightning flashes the li and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise You are most welcome to this Eucharistic celebration in a special way, the reflection in which we remember this great saint, Pope, Doctor of the Church. He was the first Pope to be called great because he defended the faith, the heresies, and what uh, to unite the Church. More so, he was among the great administrators we have ever had in, in the Catholic Church. So we continue praying and asking his intercession that we remain strong in our faith, defending the heresies which might come our way. In the first reading, we, we are presented with a letter which St. Paul wrote to his friend Philemon on behalf of one of his uh, former slaves who went or who ran away from him, Onesimus. This man was a friend, he was a slave, a worker of Philemon, but because of love of man, because of love of riches, he stole the riches, the man of his master, and uh, ran away. On his way running away, he was caught and imprisoned. And in prison he got St. Paul, that is in Rome. And in prison, St. Paul preached to him, and there he was converted, baptized, and became a Christian, and became one of the beloved friends of St. Paul in prison in Rome. And being touched by this experience, he asked him, where have you been? So I stole money, I ran away. Then Paul sat down and wrote a personal letter to Philemon, pleading appealing to him to receive him back, to receive Onesimus back, not as a slave, not as a betrayer, but as a brother in faith, as a son. And he pleaded that you receive him the way you could have received me. Have received him. And I'm ready to pay in case Onesimus stole something or did an injustice to you. I'm ready to, to pay back but leave him, receive him as a brother in Christ. Just imagine the love St. Paul had towards this slave. Just have 
the heart St. Paul had to unite the people who have gone astray or who have quarreled. quarreled. This is one of the greatest examples we learned in the first reading. The love, forgiveness for those who have wronged us. And also we are called to intercede to become the instruments of reconciliation. Reconciliation to those people who have uh, departed from one another. But this one calls patience, sacrifice, and the humiliation. The heart of forgiving, the heart full of love, a heart full of mercy and compassion, following the example of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are many. Also, we are called alone again not to mistreat our, those who work and us. Not to mistreat them. Paul pleaded with Philemon not to mistreat this guy, this man who was working under, under him as a slave. So we are called also to look at the, those who work with us as brothers and sisters in Christ. In the gospel, we are presented with another scenario or whereby the Pharisees wanted exactly to know from Jesus when will the kingdom of God come? When? At a specific time. Maybe they wanted to convert towards the end of the time, but Jesus said, there is no way we can locate the day, the time, the hour when the kingdom of God, God will come. The kingdom of God is a to you. A kingdom of God cannot come in a physical way. It's not a material thing. It's not a structure. A kingdom of God is a state. It is a state of feeling happy. It's a state of feeling uh, courageous to defend yourself. It's a state of having love towards the neighbor. It's a state of forgiving. That's the kingdom of God. It's not a structure. In fact, I remember when we were growing up, we had a, a certain song we used to sing. Say, if you want to be happy, the time of being happy is now. The place of being happy is here. And the way of being happy is to forgive and look at each other as a brother. And once we do that, the kingdom of God is in me, is in is a ministers. So let us ask the Lord that he gives us this heart of Paul to plead, to appeal, in order to bring reconciliation and also to be ready to repair the past life. In the gospel, we have called again to be loving, uh, to be ready to love, to feel loved, and to forgive. And once we do that, the kingdom of God is already in, in, in me and in you. Reminded by this script of God's loving presence, let us now present our requests to him for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who govern our communities and the country, may the example of Christ inspire them to care for the poor and vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For each of us, as we carry our daily burdens, may the Holy Spirit reveal to us that we are never alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for this faith community, may the kingdom of God be made real through our acts of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died in the light of faith, may they now rest in the eternal light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our personal and special intentions, we present them to the Lord in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, we ask that you hear these prayers which we offer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we are dead, O oh Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Our Master, also we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
in the merit to Boreas to eternal life, and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and the leaders of the Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And I will be your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, to the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am one who has taken to share in our life, but only a safe life, and Jesus will share the
Let us pray. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church, so that your flock may everywhere prosper, and that under your governance, the shepherds may become priests in your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us. Thank you.